So what are those types of things that you need to know in order to build your own child theme? Um, so the very first thing is that you absolutely need to have a, a, a basic understanding of WordPress. And I think that goes without saying. Well, what do I mean by basic understanding? Well, you should know what most of this stuff does, okay? You should know how the difference between posts and pages. You should be able to construct a site, okay, with a menu and with pages and posts and and you know that sort of thing you should be able to to construct a site that the functions appropriately okay so some basic wordpress knowledge is really essential if you're confused about this type of stuff any of the stuff in the administrative end of wordpress then working with child themes is going to be is going to be a little confusing for you so make sure that you've got a pretty solid understanding of what most of this stuff does okay you should be able to install plugins you should be able to install themes that sort of thing just you know a general familiarity with what's going on in, in this administrative dashboard is really important another thing you need to know is you need to have a basic understanding or basic knowledge of html and css okay you don't have to be an expert but you do need to be fairly fluent in at least reading that code and you should feel comfortable being able to write some basic code too okay again it's fine if you consider yourself an advanced beginner or an intermediate user that's totally fine um, if you want to brush up on your html and css skills i really recommend there's a couple sites i recommend htmldog.com i love this site i actually use it a lot when i need to just little refreshers or reminders of stuff particularly about some of the more advanced css stuff I find this is a really useful site. Another great site is w3schools.com. Um, and in fact, there's lots of fantastic tutorials here about uh, JavaScript and more server side development as well too. So these are two terrific resources, okay? Um, Another thing is you need to have a basic understanding of how to use an FTP client. And that's an FTP client is just software that connects you to your web server. Okay. I use Cyberduck. I think it's a fantastic um, FTP client. And it's I also like it because it's free and it's available for both Mac and PC. So I, I, I really like this. But you don't have to use Cyberduck. You can use the FTP client of your choice. Okay. Um, not only do you need to know you know, how to use an FTP client, but specifically you want to be fairly familiar with how to navigate throughout there. You should have a basic understanding of the way the files are organized on your web server. And here's an example I've got, here's, I've got my web server here and here's my, my, the folder that contains my WordPress installation for my demo site. Um, the, these are all the files that were installed, okay, because uh, as a result of my WordPress installation. And you should be able to navigate through here fairly fluently. I'm going to go inside the WP content folder, and inside here is my themes folder. You should be able to move back and forth fairly fairly fluently, okay. Um, you should also um, be able to uh, move and rename files and folders, okay. So let's say if I wanted to rename this one, I could just right click and click rename and then rename it. I'm not actually going to rename that. Okay, um, I, you should be able to actually upload files and folders to your server. So I like to just do that by just dragging files in and out here. So I could actually just drag this file right into here and do that. But whatever method works best for you, you should be able to create new files and folders. So I could go in here and just create a new folder called sample. Okay. And then right away, there's a new folder right inside there. I could go inside there. I can navigate around. I could create a new file called sample file dot, you know, let's just make it a text file for now. Okay, so there's just a sample little file. I should be able to click that and move that around. So I want you to feel really comfortable doing that because um, I sort of assume that you know how to navigate around in your FTP program, okay? Um, and last but not least, um, you should have some method of actually editing the files on your server using a plain text editor. So let's say I wanted to edit this particular file. I could just open that up um, and there it is right here. I'm going to close this untitled file. There it is right here. I'll say some sample info goes here okay and then i should be able to just save that and it should just upload that directly to my server and let's just refresh this and now let's open this again and there it is right here so you should have the capacity to fairly quickly um, edit things on your server okay um, so those are the assumptions that i make in terms of your own um, 
your own uh, skill level at this point. Okay. Um, you don't need to know any PHP. Okay. You don't need to know. And again, you, and as I mentioned about the HTML and CSS, you don't even need to be an expert, but you should have some familiarity with those, with that, those, those two languages in terms of the actual software. Okay. Um, I've already shown you some of the stuff. We basically need to have some sort of modern web browser. Okay. I'm using Chrome, but you know, any of the other, the latest version of your favorite web browser will be perfectly fine. Okay. And obviously you need to have the actual, um, self-hosted version of WordPress installed on a web server somewhere. You need to have access to that. Um, I think it, hopefully it goes without saying, but none of this will work on wordpress.com. If you've got a blog on a wordpress.com account, that's not going to work. That's not the same thing as the actual full blown WordPress software installed on your server. So you do need to have that. So I'm proceeding with the assumption that you have that installed on your own web server somewhere. Um, and I already talked about the, um, some of the, the software that we're using. I'll be using an FTP client. The text editor that I'll be using is Text Wrangler. However, if you're on a PC, I really recommend you, that you check out a text editor, a plain text editor called Notepad++. Um, it's free. Um, it's a free source code editor and it, it's, it's much better than just plain old Notepad. With that said, if you've got another text uh, editor that you prefer using, that is totally fine as well. Okay. Um, so that's all there is to the requirements. In the next tutorial, we're going to dive right into creating, to doing our setup, setting ourselves up uh, to create our very first child theme.